So in this session we are going to look some examples on vector cross products mainly for practice so that uh, you can get some handful of experience how to perform cross product for two vectors okay so let's start with this example first let's assume this as alpha and this as beta so we have the cross product of alpha and beta let's mention this as gamma so recall that while performing the cross product of two vectors we need to ignore some components yeah when we will substitute the entry for the first component of gamma then we are going to ignore the corresponding first component of alpha and first component of beta left second and third component we will perform the multiplication following the falling diagonal root and rising diagonal root okay so in this case we have minus 4 times 3 the falling diagonal and then minus 4 times 0 this is the first entry of gamma for the second entry we will ignore the second component of alpha and second component of beta remains first and third component so 2 times 3 minus 4 times 4 and finally for the third component the third component will be ignored of alpha and beta remains first and second component it is 2 times 0 minus 4 times 4 now we are not end yet because we have to implement the sign convention and the sign convention is start with plus and then minus then plus so this is the result we obtain now let's simplify this we have minus 12 10 16 now notice that there is a common factor 2 with all of these three entries so pulling out the scaling factor 2 simplified the vector and it is minus 6 5 8 so gamma equals 2 times this vector okay now if you want to cross verify that whether this is the correct answer or not so as what we have seen in our last session the easiest way is to compute the dot product of gamma with alpha and gamma with beta if this is the correct answer then we know that both the dot product will be zero yeah so we have minus 6 times 2 minus 12 5 times minus 4 minus 20 and 8 times 4 32 this is zero similarly this one uh, minus 6 times 4 minus 24 5 times 0 0 8 times 3 plus 24 this is zero both are zero therefore this is the correct one let's look at the second example so here we have 24 minus 2 22 for the second one 8 minus 8 is 0 and for the third component 1 minus 12 it is minus 11 now we will follow the sign convention plus minus plus so finally our answer is 22 0 minus 11 Now let's pull out this scaling factor 11 outside of the vector. We have 2, 0, -1. It's a bit simplification for helping in the computation process of dot product also. So if you now perform the dot product of this vector with alpha and beta, what you will obtain? Gamma dot alpha. It will give uh, 2 times 1, 2. 0 times uh, 3. It is 0. And minus one times two, it is minus two. Therefore, gamma dot alpha zero. Now let's compute gamma dot beta. Two times four eight. Zero times one zero. And minus one times eight minus eight. Gamma dot beta. This is also zero. Therefore, this is the correct answer. Okay. Let's look at this example. Observe that here both the vector are equal. Yeah, 
if we assume this as alpha so basically what we are performing here it is alpha cross alpha that is cross product of a vector with itself we have seen the dot product of a vector with itself but there is an interesting observation in this case so for the first component we have minus 4 times 2 minus 2 times minus 4 for the second component we have 3 times 2 falling diagonal then rising diagonal minus 2 times 3 and for the third component we have 3 times minus 4 and then minus 4 times 3 plus minus plus following sign convention now observe that if you simplify this it is minus 8 minus of minus 8 0 this is also 0 and this is also 0 see so the interesting observation is the cross product of a vector with itself is 0 it is an important property and we will discuss this in this session today that it also has some geometric significance you know 